that the simian flu in Plow of the Apes is just some dumb movie logic. But if you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense. Today I will explain ALZ-112 and ALZ-113. A lot of you guys wanted this, so here we have Planet of the Apes Simian Flu Explained. <laughs> We'll start with ALZ-112, a virus created by Genesis Laboratories and was tested on chimpanzees and it was turn, turns the iris green in the apes and was created for a cure for natural aging or Alzheimer's, a slow way and sad way to go out for the organ that gave our species the dominance of this planet. We'll first start about how ALZ-112 affects humans, specifically Will's father, Charles Rodman. We see that he is quite far into Alzheimer's disease, forgetting that he hasn't driven in years, but after receiving ALZ-112, he didn't just recover and he actually improved. But over time, he gradually went downhill because his body created antibodies to the ALZ-112 virus and the Alzheimer's came back worse. This is because the virus created and repaired neural pathways. But the Alzheimer's was still in the brain and was still progressively getting worse behind the scenes. So the body developed antibodies, it was like the Alzheimer's never left and he did kill him in the end. Now we will see how ALZ-112 affects apes. First, bright eyes, named after the green iris, that is a side effect from ALZ-112. But she was killed after being mistaken for being aggressive. However, when the big brain scientists didn't realize that she was pregnant when they brought her in and gave birth into her glass box that no one noticed. Now we'll talk about the son of Bright Eyes, Caesar. Now Caesar was sick the first night. This is because the virus passed from mother to offspring. The reason he was sick the first night was because his immune system wasn't good enough. Because we get our immune system from the same things chimps get theirs, our mother's breast milk. Without a good immune system, the virus is running free in his body, explaining why he surpasses his mother and his human counterpart in terms of intelligence. Now, did Caesar spread ALZ-112 to Will? Well, probably yes. But their bodies have fought back off the virus, so they would have probably just gotten a cold from it. So, yes, he probably did pass it on, but it was less aggressive than ALZ-113. Now we have ALZ-113, another virus created by Genesis, made to be more aggressive than ALZ-112. So the immune system could not fight off that will lead to humanity's downfall. Now we will see how ALZ-113 affects apes, specifically Cobra, who is a bonobo, pretty much a chimp with a different R rating. We see how Cobra have increased intelligence, rivaling even Caesar's intelligence. And his, this gives the rise of apes, being chimps, gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos. The apes from the sanctu ape sanctuary and Genesis laboratories and the zoo. Now, the zoo were infected by the ALZ-113 but were most likely infected by the other apes eventually because it is contagious. So why did they act like the other monkeys, although they weren't infected? Because monkeys see, monkey do. So we'll see how ALZ-113 affects humans, also known as the simian flu. It can cause multiple symptoms, from sore throat within 48 hours to death in a week and it spreads rapidly around the globe, spreading by the air, direct contact, and even indirect contact. Now, we did nearly 
gathered to wipe out humans while gave rise to apes. This is because modern humans have a weaker immune system because we rely on medication while our ancestors have a heightened immune system than us because they didn't have medication while chimps never had medication along with our ancestors giving them a stronger immune system than us so better technology actually weakened our immune system for being more reliant on medication through the generations and only one in 500 people would survive the virus, rendering the human population to only 16 million people left. Now, in 2028, we have a mutated ALZ113 virus. I call it ALZ114. This mutated virus strips the ability of speaking and makes people already immune to ALZ113 more primitive. As the colonel says, it will wipe us out, not by killing us, but by robbing what makes us human. And this is what happens to him and most of the humans left. This mutated virus does what the original virus was supposed to do. Increase neural pathways and have a bigger brain. But humans are kind of already pushing the limit of how smart an animal can be. Because if we had larger brains, there would be more brain tissue, taking longer for us to solve puzzles and making us less intelligent. But people with Alzheimer's would improve from this new mutated virus, actually. It is possible for the people to be immune to this virus, like that some people are to ALZ113, like May, 300 years later, in 2328. If we say that only 1 in 500 people were immune to the mutated virus, like some to the original virus, rendering it the intelligent human population to 32,000, while the other 15.7 million people seem to have de-evolved to our ancestors like Homo erectus. Now there's one scientific mistake about ALZ112 and 3. Could apes speak? Uh, no, this is impossible. All apes are technically able to speak English. Even your dog or cat are intelligent enough to speak. It's the shape of their voice box is the problem. Unless ALZ112 and 3 changes the shape of their organs, there's no amount of intelligent for an ape to give it the ability to speak. Anyway, remember to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more paleontology news.